the story today, <laughs> right? Exactly. I mean, look at the 24 hour temperature change. This kind of just sets up the tone of what it's going to be like today. You're 31 degrees cold or up in Algona than what you were yesterday morning. Ames 27 degrees cold or even here in the metro at 26 degrees colder. So definitely that Arctic air is making its way in this morning. We're waking up. Love my button when it likes to advance. Sometimes it's just really hyped on caffeine. Today's the one of those days. Uh, current conditions up to the north clear three degrees in Algona and then we get a little little bit warmer the farther south you get, but we have had a little bit of cloud cover in southern Iowa. Even a few flurries being reported around Creston within the last hour. You will see some gradual clearing in southern Iowa if you are seeing a little bit of cloud cover. So we will have the sunshine today, but this is going to be the main weather driver will be the wind gust between 30 and 35 miles per hour already happening this morning. That's going to continue through the afternoon. Again, that's that northwest wind, so that's making us feel much colder outside. Current wind chill sub zero up to the north. Definitely want to layer it up to and from work uh, because the temperatures again today are just not going to warm up too much. Everything's fairly quiet. High pressure moving in, so that cleared us out nicely for central and northern Iowa. Like I mentioned, a few clouds in southern Iowa. Uh, a little bit of light snow coming in around Colorado to parts of Kansas. That's going to continue to push toward the southeast today. So again, going to be a breezy one out there by 10 o'clock, only 14. Noontime temperature around 18. Probably going to hit about 19 during the early afternoon, and then temperatures will continue to fall as we head through the evening. Now, taking a look at the wind chills for the next 12 hours, this is just going to tell you the story. So going through time, here's 11 o'clock, feeling like zero outside for uh, the metro area. This is where we're going to be uh, looking at some dangerous conditions up to the north and northwest. Not in a wind chill advisory, but still want to take caution out there. And again, remind you too of the pets. Uh, I always like to mention this. I'm a big animal person, so don't leave them outdoors. And when you take your walks today, make sure they're quick because of, because of of course, what's cold to us is cold to them as well. Through this evening, again, going to be another chilly night with sub zero wind chills, but we are going to say precipitation free here on Futurecast. You could see clearing out nicely for today. It'll keep it mostly sunny. The thing that's going to change coming in for tomorrow. Our wind will start to switch directions. It's going to become southerly tomorrow. We are going to see some clouds increasing throughout the daytime, maybe a flurry or two. That's about it. And we will have slightly warmer temperatures with that south wind. So that's going to help us out a little bit there. Saturday, 36 degrees. Could see that passing snow shower again toward the afternoon and evening, as well as Sunday, the chance of snow shower. 17 for your Super Bowl. So it's going to be a cold one out there. Another system moves in on Monday. It looks like we have a better chance for maybe a little bit of accumulating snow coming in on Monday with that system temperatures stay uh, generally below average through next week.